Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, suppose that we have a coaxial cable transmission line whose capacitance is 120 picofarads per meter and who has a characteristic impedance of 50 ohms. And here we're looking for the inductance per unit length of this transmission line. So as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So this is a coax cable. So this diagram represents a coax cable, and it's made up of several different layers. So we have an insulating layer at the very outer edge, usually a black shielding, like you've seen with your cable TVs. And then if you were to peel that back and expose the next layer, the next layer is the ground. So that's going to be like a copper mesh, and that is going to be your grounded conductor. If we peel that back a little further, we'll see another insulator. Um, usually a polyethylene material. And if you were to go one more layer in, you would expose the ungrounded conductor, so that's going to be your positive. So this is going to be your positive here. This is your negative. So a positive voltage goes through the plus terminal and returns back on the negative. And we have this insulator in between the two conducting plates, and so that forms a capacitor. So all around this ring here, not just in this small area. And we're told that the overall capacitance is 120 picofarads per meter. The other thing that I'll, that I'll mention before we get into solving this problem is that one of the benefits of using coax cable is that it protects against EMI. So whenever some electromagnetic radiation hits this, you know, it hits, let's say it goes through the insulator and then the very next layer is the grounded layer. And so this is tied to ground. So this will go straight to ground and not affect our, our transmission at all. So that's actually one of the benefits of it, which is pretty cool. So this is EMI. So to go ahead and solve this now, we can actually turn to the FE handbook. And here in the FE handbook, we have a section on lossless transmission lines. And if we scroll down just a bit here, we have the definition of characteristic impedance. So Z0 of a transmission line is the input impedance of an infinite length of the line, and it's given by the square root of L divided by C, where L and C are per unit length inductance and capacitance of the line. So we're going to use that equation to solve for L. So going back, we have the characteristic impedance is equal to the square root of the inductance divided by the capacitance. And we can rearrange this to solve for L. And so then we get the impedance squared multiplied by the capacitance. And now it's just simply plug and play. Right, so we have 50 squared multiplied by 120 picofarads per meter. And when we plug that into a calculator, we get 300 nanohenries per meter. And that is our answer. So did you guys get that? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, Enjoy engineering. 